Hey there guys, welcome to Pixeliscope. So it's been a while since I made the last tutorial of the Krita 101 series and for that apologies are in order because I have been really late and I have been really busy but I'll try my best to not be so late this time uh, in between the tutorials. So today's topic is layers and without further ado let's get started with it. So what are layers? Layers can be um, explained as a blank sheet of plastic and even uh, you can consider this as a glass and this is the real essence of digital painting and what it does it helps you organize your paintings for large scenes and um, almost all the applications I know of that is the painting applications uh, uses layers and Krita is no exception. I'll give a demonstration uh, about how layer uses this style. So basically these are layers stacked on each other right. So the um, topmost layer will be the uppermost layer will be the topmost layer and then the lowermost layer will be the bottommost. So and uh, the visibility of the lower layers will be obscured by the opacity of the upper layers so it all seems really confusing so let's just give a demonstration so I'm, I'm going to select colors for better viewing so at this moment layer 2 is the topmost layer so I'm not gonna start with layer 2 I'm gonna start with layer 1 which is the bottommost layer so this is my red color and I'm drawing something now notice one thing my brush transparency um, transparency to brush sensitivity mapping is on so for this demonstration I'm gonna turn that off so I'm clicking F5 and then in this opacity this is in enable pencilling I'll just turn it off so now it will give me uniform opacity okay so this is my base layer usually I don't draw in this layer but it's your choice now this layer is above the base layer so I'm going to change the color so that you can understand what is happening so my opacity is 100% so it will obscure where, where I am drawing in the above layer right so if I'm drawing here notice the red is being obscured now this idea um, is same for every painting application and it, it this is meant for a pure beginner so if I am doing in this sorry I have to change the color this you can see the uh, this is changing right all right so now if I change the opacity that is now the opacity is 100% if I change this to 48% and now I am changing the color too. now if I this is the topmost layer right so if I draw now, now notice this is not completely obscure. So that that is the beauty of layer. You can organize all the paintings and um, that will be really helpful for bigger projects. In smaller projects, uh, projects you can uh, do it in single layer also but it is not recommended because this is the essence of digital painting, right? Now we can do various things with layers. Uh, let's just see them one by one so I have shown you that we can change the brush opacity uh, from here right so there is other way of doing it and this is the layer opacity if you change the opacity here then notice that this is the master opacity of the layer everything that you have done in the layer will be uh, more transparent and less opaque so the percentage can be self-explanatory so this goes for every layer so the layer 4 is fully opaque and I am disabling this layer and this is the visibility so this eye sign when it is um, showing the eye sign that means it's visible and if you hover over here yeah if you hover over here so um, it shows uh, the contents of the layer this can be really beneficial from uh, time to time 
especially in large projects and this is a cool feature I have not found this feature in other application so there is uh, this master opacity and I am disabling the view uh, the visibility of this layer and in the layer 4 I can change the opacity and notice how the this is more transparent now all right so let's just toggle the visibility once again so these are the layer um, blending modes i'll talk about it later because it's a vast thing and now let's go to the down side of <laughs> that's not a proper word right yeah so there are various kinds of layers so this all these layers are uh, layers are paint layers and there are all kinds of layers paint layers group layers uh, so all have specific usage mainly i use paint layers and group layers but i don't uh, use i don't draw so much uh, vector drawing drawing so i personally don't use vector layers and there is this uh, fill layer file layer when you are using a image using an image then there are transparency mask and these are special layers for effects and this transparency uh, transparency mask is meant for non non destructive workflow so i'll talk about this later these are uh, pretty intermediate to advanced stuff and these are clone of layers so copy of layers so if i uh, while selecting while uh, the layer is being selected if i press this so it will make a copy of layer 2 so the layers name can be also changed so i can change this to foreground and i can do the copy option by using ctrl j so notice the um, the transparency of both have been has been added so it was the brush stroke was transparent in the earlier one all right now okay so now we can change the order of the layer so it is not fixed so you can just grab and this um, this blue line is noting notifying the area where you can put it so if i put it here it will be in in between layer 4 and layer 3 the same can be done by using this arrow it means going uh, down the layer stack and this is going up now this is for layer properties there is another property i will talk about it later this is the basic properties that is all um, that is found here and there is this uh, this extra thing which is not found here so these are the rgba uh, the alpha and everything so and you can color level layers from here so that can be useful for for your what can i say yeah organizing the project all right so there are some other buttons here too the first one is the lock sign and what it does it uh, locks your access to the layer that is the drawing access so if i click here the color becomes more prominent and this lock sign is now locked and if i try to draw here notice the cursor is also changed with a with a banning sign if i try to do anything it says that the layer is locked so it can be really beneficial for certain projects which is really complex and you don't want to put your brush strokes in inappropriate layer so this can be prevented and it happens a lot so it's a it's an important feature and then there is inherit alpha and alpha locking now i will show this alpha locking in the opaque layer and I will uh, show the inherit alpha in later tutorials. So let's try with start with the alpha locking. So once you lock your alpha, the area that you have painted previously, only that area will be affected. So it's a really cool feature. So you can do everything and it will not, not go outside your screen. That's the best part. So this can be really useful for concept art and inherit alpha does this 
uh, this task but in an in a more what can i say inherit alpha is alpha locking on steroid <laughs> so i will show that in the next tutorial now before i go to anything else let's discuss what alpha is now alpha is your transparency data and it is meant for uh, transferring your image between applications so it records your transparency data and let's just go to the demonstration how it works so as soon as i have cleared the layer one and that was my background layer the transparency is revealed this checker box in krita and in several other applications means that there are transparencies to deal with in your picture so the checker box means that there is no information no pixel information there whatsoever and it's a nice way of knowing that uh, it is what it is and now if i give a stroke in layer 6 notice that here the checker box is gone and the alpha now in this area alpha is 1 1 means uh, opaque and 0 means transparent so if i extract the alpha channel from here all the areas except this and maybe this it will be black and this area will be white so if i go to uh, 50 50 percent of the opacity so the alpha will be gray so alpha will always lie between white to black white being fully opaque and black being fully transparent so here it is the more transparent the more uh, black is the gray will be and the more opaque the more whiter the color the alpha will be but you can uh, even keep the trans transparency um, in your file formats and for that all not all the file, file formats will support um, alpha masking png does that uh, and so does uh, so do uh, other applications but jpeg doesn't do that so it is not recommended to use jpeg um, for your for savings saving of your images unless you are not forced to do so in some situation that might be the case so there's your alpha now in order to delete a layer you have to simply cl click this delete button and if you accidentally don't do that and um, press the delete button from your keyboard now look all the contents of the layer 6 is deleted but not the layer so you have to keep that in mind because in photoshop if you click delete the whole layer is gone so this was the first part of Krita layer series if you found this video helpful please like comment and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications right away so that's it for today guys i'll see you soon